What up? It's Snowflake, yo. And uh, this is going to be tutorial number six, okay, in the DVD Studio Pro series. And this is the continuation of the last tutorial, which uh, talked about getting your main menu set up in DVD Studio Pro with all your videos and linking them all together. This is going to cover the chapters, how we get the chapters set up, chapter menus, all that sort of stuff. Okay, so, and this is just basically an add-on if that's the kind of depth you want to go into in your DVDs, right? So if you need to, check out the last tutorial and the previous tutorials to show you how we got to this step, and I'll put a link up there for the last video, and you can check the playlist out if there's other videos, you know, in the series that you'd like to see to find out how we got to this point. But I'm just going to go from here. I'm going to show you how to get these chapter menus set up, okay? So you can see, uh, if you watched the last one, um, we got the main menu set up and got our three videos set up, but they're all linked together. Okay, now we're going to do the chapter menu. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drag um, the first one in here, chapters one, and that's going to be our main chapters menu. So uh, I'm just going to click it, and I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to change this to the, the title, um, just so I have better identification of everything, chapters main. All right, and I'm going to zoom back out here. Okay. Now, so this is this menu is set up here, but there's no buttons to it, so we gotta add we gotta add buttons, right? Um, if you go to the main menu, you see that right now I only need to set up one button, but now because we're gonna do the chapters, let's set up that additional button. So I'm gonna highlight this button here, and I'm gonna duplicate it. And so I'm gonna hit Command D. Okay, um, and what it all does is duplicate it, but it's it basically completely duplicated that button. So it duplicated the button to a point where it's actually going to point in the same direction. It's pointing in the same video. So we have to change that, right? And, uh, and we'll do that, okay? So anyway, I've got it, I've got it uh, set up here. Um, just want to make sure it's aligned and everything. And then, um, okay, so here's a little thing. It's a good piece of information to have when you're setting up buttons, all right? By default in DVD Studio Pro, in the settings up here, this is checked off. This auto assign buttons continuously. Oh, what a bitch it is if you don't know that that's checked and what it does. If you have multiple buttons and you have assigned the navigation, so up goes to this button and left goes to that button and right goes to that button. If you go over here and move this button in any way around the menu, move it left, right, use the arrow keys and move it around. If you do that, it automatically reassigns the navigation. And so if you've gone in and you want your navigation in a certain way and then you make a movement, it automatically assigns it. Stupid. Um, so I turn that off, okay? Auto assign buttons continuously off, all right? But the one thing you will want to do is when you've got your button set up, just let, um, let DVD Studio Pro do it the first time. Let it automatically do it and then you can go in and make adjustments to the direction. Here there's only two buttons, right, for the navigation. So whether you hit left, right, down, or up, it's going to go to the next button and that's fine. You know, that, that works out okay. So we're just going to go to setting and auto assign buttons now and it automatically assigns the, the navigation to your buttons. Okay. Then what we're going to do, and that's just for the up, down, left, right keys on a, on a control or on your, key, on your uh, keyboard. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the chapters button itself and I'm going to tell it which way, where it's going to point. All right. And I want it to point to that menu that I just dropped in. So it's going to be menus chapters main and we'll just do the menu just it'll just go to the root of the menu all right now let's go into the chapters here and you can see that this arrow is now pointing here in our graphical all right we're going to highlight chapters and um, now we're going to do the same thing i've got in my palette shapes and there's a button over here for and i use the one that says line highlight and i'm just going to drag this over here and my button one i'm going to put under the main menu all right I'm gonna just stretch it out just a little bit. And in the last one, I had changed the color scheme in the last tutorial, I showed you how to change it, and I'm gonna to have to do that again here, because this is gonna end up being white on white, and that's not gonna work. So with this button highlighted, uh, I'll just go down here, oops, down here, and in style, um, I wanna make sure you guys can see that. Selected highlight, we're gonna change it to red, okay? And you can choose whatever color you want, but that's just the color scheme that it's gonna use. So with that, uh, like that, I'm gonna duplicate this button, and I'm gonna get it up here and get it the size that I want underneath here, so I'll just stretch it out a bit. That's a little too long. Like that, okay, looks good. I'm gonna duplicate this one, bring it over here under episode two, duplicate the next one, right here. Okay, perfect. So I've got uh, my four buttons set up for this menu. Um, 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, do the settings and auto assign buttons now. And what that does is automatically assigns the navigation of the buttons. Not where they're pointing, but when you're doing the arrows on your remote control. So, but I, there's one little thing I like to change. Um, it does a pretty good job at, at detecting it, but the way it does it is if I'm on button one and I push down, it takes me to some other button, like three or two or something, right? And I don't like the way that works. And if you're, uh, same thing, if you're on this button and you push up, it takes you to like three or, or one or whatever, you know? I don't like the way that's set up. So what I do is with the button selected over here in the advanced tab, you can select the navigation, right? So for uh, the main button, up is button three, which is right here, right? That's perfect, right? But down, I don't want it to be set to anything. I want it to be not set. So you push down when you're on the main, there's nothing down, so you don't go down, all right? And this button, uh, down is set to button three. See, it's, it's set to this one. I want it to be set to button one, because what's down? Button one's down. So I'm gonna set this to one, and I'm gonna set up, oops, I'm gonna set up to not set. So when you push up, nothing happens. And I'm gonna do the same thing for these other buttons. Down is button one, up is not set. Down is button one, up is not set. Uh, button one, not set, okay? So now all the navigation of those buttons are, are, uh, are set. I'm gonna do my next menu. I'm gonna drag this one in. We're gonna call this one chapters zero one. All right. And uh, I actually dragged and dropped it. Scratch that, I'm gonna delete that. I'm actually gonna duplicate this one. And when I duplicate it, what it does is you'll see everything in it is the same. The buttons are the same, it's pointed the same stuff, navigation's the same, but the image is the same too. So what we have to do is put that highlighted, I'm actually just gonna drag this picture over here. Dump it in here, and then I'm gonna go in here and change this to chapters zero two, or one, sorry, zero one. Okay, now in this menu, there's two additional buttons. So I have to create those two additional buttons. So I'm gonna click on button one, I'm gonna duplicate that and drag it over here. I'm gonna size up the way I want it. All right, make sure it aligns with this button. Actually, I'm gonna, yeah, that's fine. And then I'm gonna duplicate that one and bring it over here. Okay, so now I've got all my buttons set up. Because I created additional buttons, there's additional navigation required. So I have to do settings, auto assign buttons now, again. And I'm gonna to have to go through and do the same thing I did last time, which is change the navigation the way that I prefer it. You can do it however you like, but this is how I like to do it. I don't like the up going to anything because it's not up. To me, it doesn't make sense. Um, so that's what I change. All right, so the down is not set for these. And then other than that, it detects everything else pretty well. Um, the down for this is button. Oh, actually, you know what, I, I noticed this last time. It, it does mess it up occasionally. For me, this button here, I believe, once I have it lined up, the down should actually go to this one. So I'm gonna change this down to button five. Change this one to button one. I'm gonna change this one to button six, and that's correct. And this one, I'm gonna set to button, what's this, that button two. So I'm gonna select this up to button two. I'm gonna select this up to button three. And I'm gonna set this up to button four. And that's already correct as well. Okay, so now my navigation is all set up correctly. Um, navigation is set up correctly for that. I'm gonna duplicate this one again. Okay, and then this one here, I'm gonna drag my next one. So now we're at uh, episode two. And everything's the same. All right, I haven't selected where they're pointing yet. And I'm gonna duplicate that one more time. Oh, let's change the name of this second one. I'm gonna change it to two, chapter zero two. Chapter zero two. No, what are you doing, zero two? And then uh, this one here is going to be chapters zero three. Cool. All right, now in the chapter zero three one, once we get our, the correct graphic in there, You'll see that one additional button is now, or one button, one of those buttons is gone. I'm going to select it, delete it. I'm going to do have to do the same thing. Auto assign buttons now, uh, and I'm going to go through and change it the way I want it. Not set. Down is not set. Down here is not set. I want up to go to button two, which is this button here. I want up on this one to go to button three, which is right here. And uh, then for chapter three, down is gonna be set to button one, which is our main button. 
um, up is not going to be set. This is going to be set to button one, which is main. Down is, oh, I'm sorry, that's not going to be set. Down is going to be set to button one. And then this one is going to be set up, not set. Down is button five. And that's how I have it set up. And the left and right, it detects that perfect. So and it just kind of goes in a loop. Um, all right. Now, uh, what I will do here is, in, in this tutorial, because it's running about 10 minutes now, I'm just going to show you uh, how to set the menus up so they're all basically linked. Okay. And the next one, I'll, I'll go into setting up chapters in the video themselves. All right. So um, for this, let's... So this is our, when, when we're on our main menu and we click that chapters button, it takes us to this menu here, right? And this menu here, it just is able to direct us to the chapters for each episode. So those are different menus, right? So it's like, it's like different levels of menus. So when you click these buttons, it doesn't take you to episode one. It's going to take you to the menu for episode one, the chapters menu for episode one, okay? So let's set up that direction. So with this button highlighted, I'm going to go target. And I'm going to go to menus, uh, and it's going to be chapters one, button one. So just going to go to the main menu, all right? This is going to be set for menus, chapters two, button one, and this is going to be set for menus, chapters three, button one, all right? And the main is going to be set to our main menu, all right? Now, if I go to this uh, one here. I'm not going to worry about these buttons because this, like I said, is going to go and I'm going to do that in the next tutorial. I'm just going to worry about these ones down here. All right. So the main button is going to go to our, uh, our main menu. The next button is going to go to our, the next chapters. So it's going to be chapters two, button one. Um, and actually, you know what? You can make the decision either where what button you want to basically bounce to. So when it goes to say when it goes to chap the chapters two menu, what button does it arrive on? Does it arrive up here? Does it arrive down here? You can make that decision. But I just have it set to the main. So every time it goes to a new menu, it goes to the main the main button, right? So um, so anyway, so the next is chapter chapters two. The back is going to be set to our our main chapters menu. And again, I'm, I set that to button one. With that set, I'm going to go to the next one here, and I'm going to do the same thing. This next is going to be set to menus, chapters three, button one. The main is going to be set to the main menu. And the back is going to be set to, uh, we're on uh, chapters one, button one. Do it for the last one as well. Make sure I save. Main, we set to the main, because there is no next, uh, we're just going to select the back, and the back is going to go to chapters two. Okay. Now I've got all this set up. It's always good to check to make sure that you actually set it up correctly because it's a lot of like very tedious stuff. So the way that you do it is um, you're going to hit simulate, and simulate just basically simulates it as if you were to pop a DVD into a DVD player. So play all. We know what that does, and we we tested that out last time. If we go to chapters. I'm going to hit enter, and that takes us to the chapters menu. If I hit main, where does it take me? Oh, good, it takes me back to the main menu. If I cycle through it, does that work? Just down, not go where I don't want it to go. No, it looks good to me, right? So let's try the different menus out. Hit episode one, it takes me to the episode one menu, right? And I can navigate through this. If I hit back, where does it take me? Oh, it takes me back to the chapter's main. If I go to episode two, where does that take me? Cool, it takes me to that, to the right menu. Where does next take me? Oh, it takes me there, cool, back, back. And, and sometimes it's required just to kind of go through here, just to make sure that these are all pointing in the right direction, you know? Once you get pretty good at it and efficient at it, it's not necessarily to do it every you know, time, but I, I still do it roughly just to make sure that you're pointing in the right direction to stuff. Because uh, you don't want to forget buttons because nothing's more annoying than popping a DVD in and the button doesn't go anywhere. So uh, with all that set up, um, that's, that's how you connect all the chapter menus and all that stuff together. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to actually, let's now utilize those chapter menus. Let's have different chapters point to different chapters in the video. How do you set those chapters up um, in DVD Studio Pro? And uh, how do you have them all point to the right direction and, and what happens, you know, where they're pointing and when it ends and all that sort of stuff. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. Uh, if it was, make sure to like the video and comment on it. Subscribe for God's sake, subscribe, and then check back later for more tutorials and tips. Final Cut Pro, Apple Motion Compressor, DVD Studio Pro, and the next tutorial in this series. Peace out. Brother.
or system. It's still going. 